Hmm, it's a tragic here, and welcome back to Mage Night. This is the second round of day two, uh, night one. Whatever, I know what I'm saying. Let's go. Uh, bam! Draw our five cards. Your Blongo. Okay, we have Decompose, but there's nothing I want to chuck out. All those cards are a must keep, and it does not work on wounds. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work on wounds. That would be awesome, but no. So that's not a particularly good hand. We do have Regenerate. What have we got going on here? He is on a, you know, the camp or whatever. So he can recruit any type of unit and he does have a spare slot. So let's have a quick look at what we've got here. There's not a lot really here anymore. We do have uh, Scouts, which is very cool. We've also got the Illusionist, which is very good. These guys don't really help us in dungeons, but they do gain us crystals and white crystals at that. So very good. Plus it can, the target unfortified enemy does not attack, is extremely strong for cleaning up dragons later on when, when you get like the dragons, you know, like the orcs, you know, just wandering around. Because basically they're unfortified and you can just stop them from attacking and then all you got to do is hit them. Uh, it doesn't work on dragons with elusive very well, but whatever. Okay, so... Now this is a mountain. Can't he walk into mountains? Isn't that his ability? No, no. Uh, it's actually... There is a... There is a... There is a... An advanced action that can do that. Okay, so this is kind of annoying. So this thing here has two walls, okay? Now walls add a point of movement. So that is actually three to move in there and it's four to move in there, which is quite a lot. Now we can produce a total of six move if we use concentration. I don't really want to do that at all. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to use the green dice here. I don't even need to use the green dice, do I? Okay, I'm going to use the black dice to power regenerate. And I can use the black dice because it's uh, any mana type. So it says a mana of any color. You only use the green if you're going to draw, but this is pretty much all we're going to do this turn, so I don't really care about spending one of the useful greens. So I'm going to spend the black and heal that card, and that is the end of this turn. Uh, well, technically, I still need to discard a card, don't I, actually? So I will use the green. So I'm spending the green, I discard the heal, and then I draw a card. This is a perfect card for him to throw away with Decompose, but we haven't played a card yet, right? So if we pass our turn, we have to discard a card. And it seems a waste. I guess it's not too much of a waste. Let's do it. So let's just chuck this out. Is there a red in the source? There is. Oh, I needed to use green to draw. Yeah. So I've played that. I've chucked out the green. We're playing the top power, which means we gain uh, two crystals of the same color. So we gain two green crystals. Okie dokie. It's probably got the best move, but whatevs, man. Okay, so this guy draws to seven, right? Because he is sitting on a castle and he owns two. So, Bamo. What have we got here? We've got a whole lot of gas. We do have Crystal Joy. So basically we need three to move into here. Which is easy enough to do. There is a blue, so we're just gonna go one, two. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go one, two, 
three, four, that actually moves us in. Then I'm going to go Crystal Joy, take a blue crystal. That allows us to take a crystal of any color. And we're going to take a white. And then, because we paid for it, not only do we gain a crystal of a basic color to your adventury, we may discard another card, including a wound, to take this back into our hand. So I don't even need to actually power this, do I? So what I'll do is I'm actually going to go four, play Crystal Joy, take... Oh, I still need to pay a basic mana. Yeah, yeah. So no, I did it right in the first place. I know what I'm doing. I know how to play. Then I'm going to discard this card and put this back into my hand. Like so. And that's that turn. So now I'm here and ready for combat. Meanwhile, let's draw to five. We have a lot of ranged attack. We've got no movement really, except for this one movement card. It's not cool. So this is four to move in here and five to move in here. Basically, I've got no move of any sort. I don't really want to use this. I could go two. I could pay for that and do a four move. There is a white. Seems a terrible waste to get rid of my range attack three or reduce enemy attack by two. I could wait one more turn. I think I'm going to go though. I'm going to go bam. I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to spend four movement and I'm going to move into here because I'm worried about him getting in there. Uh, is there anything I want to buy? The move cost of plains and deserts and wastelands is reduced by one. Songs of Wind. That's actually a pretty cool movement card. I think I'm just going to stay there like that for now. Bammo. And let's draw up to five. My favorite character. This is the character I'm the best at using because I use her all the time. Okay, five to attack, eight to kill. Okay, that's uh, pretty harsh. We did use a uh, great start or whatever to draw blood rage. So we've got a nine attack, no worries. So all we need to do is actually five defense. We actually have mana pool. So we've, we, we've got this without any issues at all. So let's go bam and le blam and le blamo. That's five. And le blamo. I think I'm going to keep mana pool and actually spend a red crystal. So take a wound into our hand, gain attack nine. Bam. So that is. We only need to block five, so this is five, a uh, five block, so he's blocked, and then we've attacked for nine, and we only need eight to kill him, so he is done. Bammo. And that gives us another four, takes us to 12. Now we have done a dungeon as well, so we get to roll the dungeonish dice. Come on, what you got for us? Yes! We get a choice of these things. Ah, oh, both of these suck. Ugh. I guess I'm going to take Grail. I don't like either of these artifacts. But Grail is better than nothing. You get blink. Okay, and we need one of these things. Okay, so that is done. Let's go back to the first player. Let's draw back up to five. Let's see if he's actually got a move now. He's finally got a second move. 
and he does have crystal eyes, which is pretty handy. So, unfortunately, he's still kind of in the middle of nowhere. Maybe he could go. Maybe he should go and take out this thing. He could go three. So this is four, and this is five. Or maybe you could just go three and possibly take out this thing. I think that might be the best way to go and then move out here. I mean, in the long run, it's longer. So that's three, five, eight. And that's five, eight. It's the same amount of movement points. Because what's going to happen is he's going to attack here, kill them. Then he can move here. And he'll still be drawing seven cards and he can come here. So he, I think this is the way to go and try and stop him from gaining all that power. So let's move here for three. We just go bam and you blam. That gives us four. You get to reveal this sucker. Ooh, six and six and he's immune. No, that's actually pretty easy to kill. So I think... We'll just leave it like that for now. This guy's still drawing seven. Oh, look at all those wounds. Gee, that's no good. He does have crystal joy, doesn't he? So there's, is there a blue? Yeah. So he's going to spend boom and go blue. Gain a crystal of any basic color to your inventory. At the end of your turn, you may discard another card, including a wound, to take this card back into your hand. So he's going to discard a wound, take this back into his hand, and he's going to take a red crystal. Uh, there's two monsters here. So how much attack power? He hasn't got a lot of attack power here. He's got block. He's got lots of crystals, though. So he's basically got five block attack. He's got another five block to attack and three. So it's not too good. And he's also got this sucker up here. He absorbs three. So he's got actual physical existence three, which is an extremely strong card for the early green monsters. There's a lot of three attack, four attack monsters. You know, it's basically he can absorb six attack physical so the way you do your way you do physical resistance in units is like say you're getting attacked for three you before you assign damage you reduce the damage the incoming by the resistance value so if you have three it turns into zero and there's no damage if you have six it turns into three Right, And then when you wound him, you take off another three, which makes it zero. So he can actually absorb six damage in a, from a single attack, which is enough to basically negate every single green attack, except maybe a summoner. And uh, so that he's awesome. So we, we, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it for now. We'll spend, we'll just get rid of these wounds. We're not in any particular rush. Let's draw back up to five. Okay, so now we've got some action. Let's, uh, oh wait, we've already killed this thing, haven't we? Didn't I? Oh wait, sorry. I'm looking at the wrong person. Here we are, three. So, he can take a unit or we do have a scout move two reveal a new tile error at a distance of two spaces instead of one and we can also look at face down tokens or i could have a crystal generator which is pretty damn nice this is actually a good combo so you've got the crystal generator which is generating white and you've got the magic familiar and white is move three plus two so that's actually move five it's pretty damn awesome Uh, this can be recruited at, oh, this can be recruited at uh, temples, and so can this. So technically, what is his rep? It's at zero. 
This guy is... I still I'll need two white crystals, though. This guy is seven influence. So that's five, six, seven. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. So I'm going to go bam and you blam and take the green. That's five, six, seven. And I'm going to take this guy into my hand. Okay, there was a small little error there I picked up in the editing. I forgot to reduce his reputation by one at the end of his turn because he used threaten. So I've cleared out all the other data so nothing's spoilt. But yeah, so just quick fix. Okay. Booyah, let's draw to five, my favorite character. Okay, so we've got Holy Grail. What am I buying that thing? Still got no, oh, I do have movement. Let's go, let's pay for four. So that's one, two. Actually, let's explore first, just in case we want to head in that direction. Bam. Oh, and there's a monster to kill. And another dungeon. Oh, everything's turning up trumps for good old red. My favorite. Okay, so then I'm going to go to... Uh, let me have a look at this. I need f six to block, five attack. We do have this thing here, so we're fine. I've already used... Oh, wait, we don't have enough attack. I've only got a total of four attack. Well, that was a bit of a bummer. So he's just going to have to waste that last two points. We'll do this next turn. And that's our two turns. I'm going to go, I'm moving pretty quick. I'm going to go again. Okay, let's see if we can do this. We need two to get in there. Got no attack of any sort. That's just pathetic. He's having a terrible time of it. So I guess I'll do crystallize and I will take a blue. Actually, I'll take oh there is no white. Well okay, I'll take a a blue and take a blue crystal. Come back over here, draw back up to seven. We still really have, what have we got? We've got two, what have we got here? We've got some pretty decent stuff here. Yeah, let's do an attack. We probably should have uh, done the attack last turn. So we need two Marauding Orcs because we're standing on this thing here, which has two. If we win this, we get a crystal of every color, which is awesome. Okay. Yablamo! Ooh! Double brutal. Wow, that is, that is harsh. Wow. That is extremely harsh. That is six block, six attack to kill. That is three. Okay, so for starters, this can be absorbed. It's only three attack. So the way you read this card is, right? It's three to block. If the damage gets through, right? You have to calculate damage off three attack, but the damage is doubled, okay? So what that means is we have three armor, so we would gain two wounds from this guy, but he's only three attack incoming which means we can absorb that entire attack on this guy so we don't have to block him at all. He's done. Now, once you've used a card as a block, right, normally he gets wounded or whatever and he's out of the turn, but because it's absorbed, he's still active to use his attacks and blocks and all this kind of stuff. So we haven't got an issue with using him again. 
because he's still active. But we can't, even though he's absorbed it, we can't absorb this guy as well. Once you've done his absorb, you can't use him again for the same combat round. Anyway, so this guy, we have to get rid of four attack, which I can block with this guy. So that would block his four attack. And then we need to produce, somehow, we need to produce uh, 11 attack, which there's no way we can do that. We can go five, six, seven, eight. We can do eight, eight, nine, ten. We can do 10 attack, which isn't much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kill this guy because next we can just fight this guy next round and absorb his damage again. So we don't have to worry about him at all. So we're gonna produce six attack to kill this guy. So I just need to go five attack, six attack, which means I need a blue and a red mana. We can get a red mana in there. There is a blue up here. I'm going to take the blue and then I'm going to activate his crystal. That gives him a blue crystal and a red mana token, which we use to power this. And that is that. So to recap, we absorbed the three damage because he's got three physical resistance. So he, we don't have to worry about him. Boop. Meanwhile, this guy is attacking for four. We block with five, so that's done. We then we do five attack with this guy, followed by one sideways for six attack. And because this guy has physical resistance, we needed six attack. So we've only killed one of the monsters. So this one goes back on the... Oh, gee, what happened then? This one goes back on the site, but we do still get the rep for this, which is another four, which takes us to 15 and does level us up. Now these are not roaming, so we don't get rep increases, but we have leveled up, which is pretty awesome. So let's give this a shuffle. What have we got? More crystal generation and flight. Now I'm a big, big fan of flight. Uh, for those of you that don't know, this guy is a, uh, where is he? This guy is like a, a sort of dragon monster, right? So he can actually fly. Uh, So flight allows him to basically move multiple zones at once. So flip this card to move to adjacent zone for free or move two spaces for two movement points. That is huge, okay? Especially like, for example, if this guy had flight, he could move into a five movement spot for free. It's extremely strong. So we're here, right? This is where we're sitting. We could actually just move to here in one go for flying. I mean, it wouldn't. it's not free to move into there because if you move two spaces, uh, it just costs two move. It's a really, really strong thing. And we are, we've got crystal generation coming out of our ears. So I'm actually gonna take that. I'm gonna put this up here and take flight. Or maybe I could take one of these. Nah. And what are we going to take? Hmm. I guess we could take Peaceful Moment. It gives us a heal. Yeah, I'll take Peaceful Moment. Bam. Okay. Let's draw back up to five. Can we have some movement, please? My God, what is going on? Where's all our movement? I really want to explore. Oh, well, nothing we can do here. Let's uh, take a 
we've already used our green let's take a red crystal wow this is horribly bad and last turn your blammo okay so we need to block three, which we're not going to do, and we only need to attack five, but we now have enough. So I'm going to go mana pull, and I'm going to pay with a green mana. Oh, green mana. But you say it needs white. Well, it doesn't matter much to us guys, because we have polarization, so... Green mana is white mana, white mana is green mana. Now you can only use this once a turn, but it doesn't matter. Because check out the powered ability. Mana pool is bonkers. Take two mana dice from the source and set them to any color except gold. It includes black. Gain a mana token for each of these colors. That means unlike all the other mana pools, we can get two different colored crystals. So we need a red crystal and we need a white crystal. Well, we don't even, yeah. So, in fact, we don't even need to do this. I don't even need to use it. What am I doing? I don't even need to do this. So I'm just going to take the red and go four, five. That's all I need to do. <laughs> I was so excited to use mana pool. Anyway, so this guy is attacking. So this little arrow means fast. That means you need to block six. We didn't give a stuff about blocking it because it's only one wound. So yoink, we get one wound and then we attack for four attack powered plus one is five that kills this bloke and then we're also going to use this thing heal two plus one for each point of healing provided by this card you spend so we're going to play that and heal two and we get another two uh fame so that is two one two plus another two fame one two and we get a plus one rep because we killed a wandering thing and we level up nice nice let's give this a shuffle i always shuffle it just before and ooh ooh our mana gen just went off the chain so I'm going to, I actually love this card. This Ritual of Healing is one of my favorite competitive skills next to Gold X's one. But I'm not going to take that. I'm going to take the Mana Gen. So this is part of what I call, I call this lady a Blood Witch uh, because the way I like to play here is just taking tons and tons of wounds. I get a, a, a light healing card. I've got probably the best healing card in the game now. So you get a healing card, just one is all you need. You can even get away with just using the base deck one. And then you try and fill up, you you want all your people, you want all your skills to be wound skills. So there's this one, right? I can actually chuck away a red. I can chuck away a wound and get a, if I can just, uh, let's just look at it. I can chuck away a wound and get a red or a black mana. And I can chuck away a color to get a white uh, or a green and remember red is also blue right so basically this allows us to get a mana of any type because black is also gold you know what i'm saying because of polarization so now i've got mana i can gen a mana of any type on my turn no matter what so it's awesome and if you can combo it with stuff like Power of Pain and Healing Ritual, you're just so powerful. You can, because you, and then you just stock up on spells because you can cast all the black spells so easily. It's awesome. Awesome. She's such a good character. One of my faves, for sure. Uh, we also leveled up, so we get to pick one of these, right? Intimidate. We don't need Reputation. Let's take Ritual Attack. Uh, no, I don't really. I don't really like Ritual Attack. I guess I could take the Move. Yeah, may as well take the Move, I suppose. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I will take Ritual of Attack. Throwaway action cards can give you quite powerful effects, so you can chuck away 
uh, a red card and get fire attack six. It's pretty strong, but it's throwing away from the game. I don't think... I actually don't mind throwing away cards. Like, I've been using decompose quite a lot. But uh, there's a difference. See, decompose allows you to set up future turns because you're gaining crystals. While this one, you need to have ritual attack in hand and you also have to have the card you want to throw away this that in hand at the exact moment you need it. So it's actually quite difficult to use. So yeah, I think I'm definitely going to take the, uh, the walkie thing. Okay, and that is that. Well, it's not quite that because there's one more error uh, that I picked up. This guy was a faction monster that we killed. So we just get a elementalist token. I'll just give that a shuffle first before I take it. Yonk. And that goes here. And we have a healing herbs. Boo. Yeah, this, this basically is a heal. Uh, you can throw it away from your discard pile, which is particularly strong. It's basically like sitting on a glade. Unfortunately for her, we want to keep her wounds so we can power invocation. We might use this as a fame gain or a... Because uh, you can actually use these things as three fame or one reputation. Uh, whatever. Okay, that's that. There's not many turns left. I took an extra turn this round because I was so, having so much fun. And that be that, my friends. Uh, this guy can just get a, a, a He hasn't got combat yet. Man. Okay, I will see you guys next time.